I think it's like any little girl that they make stories up with starting from dollies and designing what world they live in and to just everything as a child is design, I think. It's like being me, my mum, my little brother and me for ages. It's always been me who's been like the one trying to fix things and put things together. I've always been interested in building different things. I think it was just anything to do with design or making something from a concept to having something finished from baking a cake to doing Lego to drawing a picture. She just got excited that she had that end product that she'd made and she'd done. I got in to technology when I was younger through one of my teachers and I've done that since I was about 12. She was umming and ahhing whether to take design technology. There was only her and another girl in the in design class. It was, I think it's a very much the design side is, is very much a man's world. I'm just glad we had each other. I, me and Becca have done it together from the start and I think that's, that's definitely helped with everything. I think one of the earliest memories when I knew I wanted to be an engineer was I like, talking to my uncle. He was working in Belfast in engineering, but then got an opportunity to go to New Zealand. So he's been over there while there's been a couple of earthquakes and he's been involved in all the restoration projects. Um, so it just, it sounds pretty cool and it, like, he's seen the difference he's made to people's lives. So it's something I'm quite interested in doing as well. So Jacobs is a global business, so we, we undertake STEM activity across the globe. We also run the big project, which asks a difficult big question. They had to go into groups and they had to design something that they thought would work for Jacobs. And she had to, she had to get up and present this on the stage in front of 100 people, including, you know, the big people of Jacobs. And she just got up and did it. And she was absolutely amazing and she won. So, and you see now I'm getting upset. <laughs> so at the end, they came over and they just said, we, re we really want you that we, we left Carmel and we both got in the car and we just both like sat and screamed and we were like, oh my God. It's just amazing that someone else sees it as I do. It's been like just amazing, so. Katie had uh, talked quite seriously quite early on about apprenticeships as being a, a route for her. Whereas Rebecca would thought about doing an engineering degree and it was the apprenticeship route that then kind of crept up on, on Rebecca in that way. And I think I had quite a difficult decision to make between uni and doing a degree apprenticeship. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for quite a while just because I'd always wanted to move away and go to uni and have the whole uni life and you know, go somewhere different. Yeah, I talked to my friends a lot about what I should do between uni and the apprenticeship and all of them said, you're stupid not to do the apprenticeship. The relationship that Jacobs have with the careers and enterprise companies is a really significant one for our business. My involvement in the Enterprise Advisor Network has been absolutely critical to the network of contacts that I have, both locally, regionally and, and nationally. We really have a shortage of female engineers, so to have two female students who were really driven to work for Jacobs and within the engineering sector, it was really important to make sure sure that we grab those students and get them into our business. It, it has been really important for the office, but the two best students of that year were Kate and Rebecca, and there's a really big part in engineering to be played by young female engineers to actually break that mould, break that perception. They're still the minority of females in engineering, but there's absolutely no reason why that should be the case. We need to do everything within our power to remove the obstacles, and I see those being taken away on a daily basis. Miss Crosh always told us to do what we need to do and do what we want to do to make us happy. Yeah, I think because we are two girls who have gone through a degree apprenticeship, a lot of people think whenever we tell them we're going to do engineering, they'll be like, oh, you, you've been an engineer. And it's, a lot of people are very surprised, which it's, it's a bit weird that they're surprised because I'm just happy I'm just doing something that I want to do.